What's good, Shout out to Boy Bizman Cam here, and I am back with another video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna kind of be doing something, you know, pretty important. I'm gonna be talking about uh, some expenses you may be having in your uh, detailing business, some maybe unexpected things that I didn't expect in the detailing uh, world going into it. Uh, just so it kind of gives you guys a little heads up readiness uh, if you guys are new to the detail world, or if you got some old heads and you guys have been here for a while, maybe these are some things that you experienced too. Um, so if, if that's the case, maybe share them down below so that way people can read your comments and, uh, you know, kind of avoid these situations or you know know how to go through it so yeah that's all that will be in today's video today hope you guys do enjoy please be sure to smash that like button comment any type of video you guys ideas you guys have uh subscribe for more we're on the road to 4k and uh, any tools or products will be in the description below let's get right into the video let's get it all right cam so you're making pretty good money man yeah. like you just did a detail for 300 yeah you got another one for two something yeah 500 a day yeah but something you're learning, you know, being a youngster, first year out. Yeah. There's a lot of expenses. Boy, I'm t like way more than I ever would have expected. Um, there's things that like once you get into it will hit you that you didn't even think about. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a bunch of different expenses, obviously business wise. Um, you have your life expenses and stuff, but um, that was a huge part of me having to raise my prices. And that's why I'm trying to make this money because it's a lot, everything, all, every chemical, every new thing you're always wanting to try new chemicals even though you got some already you know so like it's a lot more money than what i thought for sure but yeah and then you were talking about your car what is it tags are due yep the <laughs> tags are due this month and um i just made 300 the, the the registration is gonna be about two something like 180 to something so uh the money i pretty much made today is uh is gone already so yeah how often do you restock on chemicals whenever you need it or do you try doing it once a week and stock up i usually stock up a little bit before i need each chemical so like um the big gallons it's hard to tell because you know i use them like differently but uh usually when uh when i have like a little bit left of chemical and i know that like maybe the next like two details from then or three details from then that i'm gonna need it um i'll go and stock up so like two days ago uh, before you were here uh, i went ahead and stocked up on like some uh, interior detail spray uh leather cleaner and like a few other little uh, minor things that i knew were gonna run out pretty soon so um it's kind of just when i know that I, i'll need some new stuff in a few cars so do you try do you buy the bottles or the gallons usually it depends because some some of the products don't even come in gallons so even if you wanted to buy it, you couldn't um but and then some of the gallons are a million dollars so i'm not like I, it's hard to spend 80 bucks 90 bucks on like a, a good gallon of whatever um it, compared to just buying uh you know a smaller bottle and then kind of just um what's it called diluting it um so usually most most things i'll try to buy gallons if i know i'm going to use it a lot but if it's a product that I'll, you know, use not that much, maybe an interior detailer where I know it, there's not going to be uh, much spray in general, I can just use a small eight ounce or 16 ounce bottle. So, yeah. All right. What's the most expensive thing about the detailing business? And the gas, the labor, the chemicals, the equipment. What I'm going to say, well, it all depends on like, because, you know, there's, you start you, you get all that stuff kind of throughout at different times you know like you you kind of at first you may spend a, a big chunk of change buying all the stuff at, at once um but i would say shoot the most expensive thing is my dang time that's what that that's what it's expensive but i'm telling you because you got the chemicals and stuff and you know what i'm saying you're grinding you could rebuy that but you know what i'm saying you're you you're the one that puts in the effort and is the detailer that they choose to hire based on you know what what work you do um so shoot i mean besides the the probably obvious the the actual tools themselves i would say my time if that could be an answer um yeah it is because you actually just let go of football you were yeah. playing football for college yeah you you're a full-time student mm -hmm. and time uh, you don't got a lot of it man yeah so pretty much when i was in football um i was there for like six to seven hours five days a week and then the sixth day we had our games and um i i'm not on that schedule anymore i ended up registering so i have a little bit more time but i still practice like three or four times a week but it's a little bit more in my control but unfortunately yes i did have to let that go and then being in school full-time and stuff your time is very small i have a little bit of time to detail try to fit it in when i can and um you know i'm starting to make stuff work a little bit so and since you let go of football, have you been able to do more details or is it about the same? Um, yeah, I've been able to do a few more um, just because 
a lot of the times I'd be knowing that I had to go a little bit, I'd have to cut off the details early. Um, and so even if I am a little tired, I could still string details out. I have to stop at like 12, 30 to one every day. But now I, there's no limit really. I could stop at two, three. So now, um, right now, just because I don't usually schedule afternoons or evenings or whatever, uh, I usually stop at about like two to three, which has allowed me to do maybe one more detail for that day. So um, it definitely has given me a little bit more time. Got you. Yeah. What's the most unexpected expense that you didn't know about this business until you started it? The most unexpected expense. Something that just hit you like, what? I didn't know that. Boy, what? Do you have it? one in there? I can't even, an unexpected expense. You kind of expected yeah. everything? The car, the business insurance? I mean, besides as like, I guess it, the it's not just a one particular thing if i were to say unexpected i would just mean how much it could cost as a whole just in general starting up a detailing business obviously in the very beginning you're getting very little materials and and stuff doesn't very you know cost that much and uh, so it's not super it's not super bad uh, but as you start upgrading and slowly getting up there stuff starts to get a lot of money and um, that's why you have to raise your prices with that equipment because the equipment starts to become more money more money the camels coals become to uh, start to become more money um obviously your time becomes worth uh your time becomes worth more does that even sound right i don't even know but yeah um so um all those things kind of play an account to that all right and last question yeah what's your next investment you want to do for, for you detailing for detailing do you got one i'm gonna say what's does a i mean i guess this does count an investment is a uh, is someone to work with me really um, yeah you're ready i think i'm ready bro right. i'm because i've heard a few things about when you should add a partner on and a lot of people there's like mixed stuff um and a lot of people saying you know if you can't pay for it why pay for it but the i guess a lot of most the, the consensus the the majority consensus seems to be the quicker that you can get a helper the better regardless of you're getting a few details um so if i can get a helper uh, i can knock details out sooner on in the day and then the rest of the day i can use that to do uh the back end stuff more promotion uh, more media stuff um, and you know hopefully that'll help trickle in more customers and I'll just continue the cycle of keep trying to push that and so I think the next the next thing for me is is to continue with the promotion so I'm gonna put a lot of money into that um, you know as far as like media and getting just myself out there and then getting someone on board so yeah mm. oh and you also do Instagram ads right that's I an do. expense yeah so um, how much are you spending a month roughly right now I try to do one Instagram ad a week for like 25 bucks. Mm. Um, so probably for my first month, almost month, I've only been doing it for a couple weeks. So this month I'll probably spend around like 120 on ads and made, you know, probably close to a thousand dollars from those ads. You did get customers from those, huh? I, from all the ads that I posted in the past like month, month and a half, I've gotten like five customers, six customers out of all of them. So, and those are all, you know, maybe one or two were an express roster. Most of them were all full details. So two, 200 bucks plus, I think that's worth it for 25 bucks, you know. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. Kind of just wanted to go through the expenses of detailing a little bit, kind of what I'm looking forward to in my future going forward with detailing. I uh, hope you guys were kind of able to take away something from this. And if you guys have any suggestions for me on uh, what I should spend my money on going forward on detailing that might help me a little better, please be sure to leave them down below. Um, but that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, stay tuned if you guys want to see some more videos just like this. Leave your suggestions down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already because we're on the road to 4K. And uh, any tools or products like that will be in the description below for you guys needs so that's about it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoy thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace